All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that are serving the Lord. To the best of their ability, I want to say Shalom, and I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp, and I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, and I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right, and uh, today's lesson, I'm gonna start at Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 6, and it reads, "Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places." All right, so I'm gonna read that again, and it reads, "Folly." is set in great dignity okay and folly you know goes back to foolishness all right and uh that is it says dig set in great dignity okay dignity you know it means to be exalted you know it's, it's an elevated place okay you uh, know so so folly folly is is uh is set in great dignity you know and you know when, when you go on uh youtube all right you know, you, you, you see, you know, women, you know, getting rich off of eating crabs. All right. Uh, getting rich off of gluttony. All right. You go on, uh, you go on social media. All right. TikTok. All right. It's nothing but folly. You go on Facebook. You go on Instagram. You know, women shaking their asses. All right. TikTok. They, they got all these different challenges. You know, the Bugs Bunny challenge. All right. The Momo challenge. You know, so on and so forth, man. Okay turn on the you turn on the, uh the, the the tv all right you see nothing but folly okay you see uh women you know acting like whores all right men being sodomites all right women shaking their ass dressing like dressing like women you know what i mean dressing like harlots you know and these things that's what's that, that's what's being exalted all right but when you when you uh speak righteous righteousness in this place you know people demonize you all right brothers channels get deleted all right uh, they, 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 they videos get striked. All right. But if you was to talk about, you know, foolishness, all right. Uh, you know, you, 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 you go on YouTube, you know, people talk about foolishness, you know, and, and, and they got thousands and millions of likes. All right. And we, we don't do these things for likes and, uh, and, and for, for, to, to be, uh, to be exalted in this place. But that's just to show you that this place is wicked, man. All right. And, um, so, Rocky, let me go to the next precept, all right? Because uh, folly is, is set in great dignity in this place, man, all right? And that's how you know that Esau, I mean, that this world is wicked, man, all right? Because when you, when, you, when you speak about the Bible, you know, when you speak about, you know, the true things that's going on in this place, you know, you get demonized, all right? And this is Hosea chapter 4 and 1, and it reads, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord has a controversy with the habits of the land. You see? So the Lord has a controversy, all right? The Lord got a big problem with this place, man, all right? Because wisdom is not flourishing in this place, all right? Women dressing like harlots, all right? Men, you know, uh, being like being like uh, women, women being like men, all right? It, it, uh, uh, it ain't no knowledge of the Lord in this place, all right? And uh, keep reading. It says, because there is no truth, all right? There ain't no truth uh, in this place, man, all right? You only can find truth to, uh, to, 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 through the men of the Lord, man, all right? And, and and they're making it very hard, you know, to, to access the truth, all right? Because brother channels getting clipped left and right, all right? You, you, can't say, you can't say certain words, all right? You know, you speak out against the Maxine, you know, you, you, you talk about the, the, uh, the, uh, the mob, all right, that Mark, okay, which, uh, which goes back to Revelation 13 and 6, uh, 13 and 16, you know, you speak about the truth, all right, and you get demonized, all right, it says no mercy, nor knowledge of Yahweh by Shema and the land, okay, so there ain't no truth, man, all right, ain't no knowledge of Yahweh by Shema and in the land, okay, and 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 uh and that's why the Lord that's one of the many reasons why the Lord you know is gonna come back and destroy this bitch man all right because it ain't no truth all right ain't no knowledge of of Yahweh by Shema in the land okay and uh you know but like the like I brought out you know folly is set in great dignity you know these people conversations you know uh uh majority of uh you know men all right 
You know, I go to, I go to school. All right, niggas talk about folly all damn day. You know, talk about Takashi Six Nine. You know, talk about you know uh, the the NBA playoffs. You know how much points LeBron James scored. You know, uh, the the NFL free agency. You know, these things are all folly, man. All right, foolishness. Okay. These things they, they don't mean shit, man. All right, and Esau give you these distractions, you know, to keep you, to keep your keep, to keep you, uh, to keep you blinded. All right, from really what's going on. Okay. All right. So let me go to my next precept. This is Proverbs chapter fifteen and verse twenty-one, and it reads, "Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom." Okay. And that word destitute goes back to void, man. All right. Two thirds of our people uh, ha has been deprived. All right. Two thirds of our people are deprived. From from wisdom, man. All right, and that's why they, they 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 love folly so much. Okay, because because uh because you know uh so like it says, folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. You know, and two thirds of our people, you know, they delight in folly, man. Okay, they they uh caught up into the ways of this world. All right, they they're, they're caught up into their job. You know, they're caught up into their career. They're caught up into their money. You know, they're caught up into uh, partying, drinking, you know, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's what they're golfed in, all right? You know, but I'm reading again, it says, folly of joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, all right? And, those, and that's the two-third, man, all right? It says, but a man of understanding walketh uprightly, all right? And who's a man of understanding, man, all right? The hopeful elect, okay? And it says, walketh uprightly, you know? We walk uprightly, you know? We walk in the law of such commandments. All right, because that's what's good, you know. But two thirds of our people, you know, they go they go about to establish their own righteousness, man. All right, but they ultimately at the end of the, at the end of the day, you know, they're deceiving their own selves, man. All right, and let me get the next precept. This is Proverbs fourteen and verse eighteen: the simple inherit folly. Okay, who's the simple, man? All right, two thirds of our people, man. All right, they're, they're simple. All right, they, they 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 don't think outside the box. You know, they believe. Everything that they follow, the devil uh, tells them, you know. And uh, it says, the simple inherit folly, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge, okay. And the prudent, all right, prudent goes back to wise, okay. And we're crowned with knowledge, all right. Lord willing, we be those men, okay. Because this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Bible, that is the true knowledge, okay. The, the, the Lord says, uh, Proverbs 1 and 7, let me get that real quick. It's Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, all right? And two-thirds of our people, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, they don't fear the Lord, okay? They think God is all love, you know? They, 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 uh, because Esau has painted the picture that God is all love, all right? You know, God doesn't kill, all right? You know, but if you read the scriptures, all right, you'll find out that these things. The Lord delights in, delights in judgment, all right? The Lord killeth and make alive. All right, the fear of the Lord, that's how we persuade men. All right, but two-thirds of our people, they, they don't fear the Lord, okay? And I'll keep reading. It says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. You see, only a fool is going to despise wisdom and instruction, man. All right? And the Lord says the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Let me get that. All right, this this is First Corinthians chapter First Corinthians three and verse nineteen. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You see, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness. All right, because you, you, you uh, because you know foolishness of this world is, of the wisdom of this world is foolishness. All right, so the Lord don't give a damn. You know how smart you are. All right, you know he don't care if you got bachelor degrees. All right, he don't care how much master degrees you got. All right, you. You can know how to uh, um, uh, fix a car, you know. You can break down, you know, the, the, the uh, you can break down algebra, all right. You know, you, 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 you know how to uh, um, fix some, fix plumbing pipes and shit like that, all right. But the world, the Lord don't care about that, all right, because the wisdom of this world is foolishness, man, Okay. Because in a time of Jacob's trouble, you know, none of that shit is going to matter, all right? But the wisdom lies to understanding, okay? This is Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, all right? The so wisdom knowledge to understanding of this Bible, that's going to be the stability of thy time, all right? Because we're, we're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? The scripture says it's going to be a time like never before, all right? 
you know, worse than any time on the face of the earth, all right? And the wisdom of this world, that ain't going to keep you stable in those times, all right? You know? But the wisdom of the understanding of these scriptures, that's what's going to keep you stable. And two-thirds of our people, you know, they, they, they lack that, all right? They, they don't have the wisdom of the understanding. So, so they're not going to be stable, man, all right? They're going to be running around like a chicken with their head cut off, all right? But but the but the wise but the prudent all right they're gonna be stable in those times all right Lord willing to, that be us all right and it says in the strength of salvation the fear of the Lord is his treasure man all right and that's what it comes down to the fear of the Lord man okay the fear of the Lord that's how we persuade men all right because because to, uh, the prudent they, they fear the Lord all right they know that he's a terrible demon like power all right but two thirds of our people you know they're gonna they're gonna find out the hard way all right. They're going to receive death by pain, all right? So let me go back to uh, my next precept. All right, let me close out with one last one, Lord willing. This is 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 11, all right? And it reads, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things, all right? And and, and so you, you got to put away childish things, okay? Putting away, you know, niggas on, on, on TikTok, all right? Doing a whole bunch of folly, you know, on Instagram, on Facebook, you know? These people are, uh, two-thirds of our people, they're grown-ass children, all right? They're in the children-like mind state, all right? All about fun, all about pleasing your flesh, you know. It's all about having a good time, you know. This this thing, it's, the scripture say Ecclesiastes three one, it's a time and place for everything. All right. And matter of fact, let me get that. All right, because there's a time for everything. All right, in the kingdom, you know, we're gonna be able to turn up. All right, we're gonna be able to have fun. All right, but right now it's not that time. There's Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. You see? So there's a time and place for everything. All right? It ain't the time to be uh, loll lollygag. It ain't the time to be, you know, in your mirth. You know? It ain't the time to be uh, doing, uh, living it up. All right? This is Esau's kingdom. This is not our kingdom. You know? We're, 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 uh, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're, we're going through the curses, man. We're being punished for our disobedience to the Heavenly Father, man. All right? And uh, let me jump down to verse uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 3. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. All right? And we're building ourselves up in the spirit, man. Okay? We're building ourselves up for the time of Jacob's trouble. All right? Verse four: A time to weep, a time to laugh. You see, and, that, and that's the time. That, that, that's what. That, that's the two thirds of our of our people. You know, they're in the time of laugh. All right, they're in the time of their mirth. Okay, it says a time to mourn and a time to dance. All right, and we're in the time of uh, mourning, man. All right, the scripture says it's better to go to the house of mourning than than to the house of feasting. All right. All right, and uh. I'm um, going to jump down to Ecclesiastes 3 and 7. A time to rend, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak. All right? And this is time to be speaking the truth, man. All right? This ain't a time to be speaking uh, madness. This ain't a time to be speaking, you know, uh, folly, man. All right? Uh, verse 8. A time to love and a time of hate. A time of war and a time of peace. All right? And we're, and, and, and we're in a time of war. All right? Wars and rumors of wars. All right? China ready for war. Russia ready for war. All these countries are ready for war. All right? But two-thirds of our people, you know, they're, 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 they're still in that children-like mind state. You know? Time to love everybody. You know? It ain't the time for that. And it's at a time of peace. You know? We're going to have that peace in the kingdom. You know? But right now, it ain't the time for, for peace, man. All right? It's a time of war. All right, and and it's going to be a a, a a physical war soon, man. Okay, love of many waxing cold. All right, it's going to be a, a nation rising against nation. You know, and this is the time that 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 we're approaching. 
Okay? So that was just a short lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstones and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh Bahashem al -Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that I listen to these videos and that serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom at the Wadi Yahweh Bahashem al -Shai for putting the spirit on me and make this lesson. Lord willing, to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and the Baal Baal. Shall we want?